In the last episode, Robert had their first class with Nickelodeon. And I want to thank each and every one of you for submitting to the Trans Youth Acting Challenge. You all. And we got very rained on. In this episode, a loose hose causes problems, and we run into more rough weather. Here on Hilton Head Island, it's super early in the morning. We're going to head on again. Our goal is St. Mary's in Georgia. It'll take us a few days, but when we get there, we have scheduled to have the boat hauled, the mast taken down, and repaired, finally. We're crossing Calabogue Sound. The wind of the last few days has given us some waves, but it is so beautiful out here. You gotta love these early morning sails, motors, whatever, we're on a boat. However, as we entered the Cooper River, the engine started overheating. And when I opened the hatch, I could see cooling water flooding down the side of it. Even worse, the river banks were too shallow to pull over to the side and the current too strong for us to stop in the middle. But luckily, just then, we saw an abandoned fishing pier. So, slight problem. We've got uh, an engine leaking again, and we're gonna pull over. We're gonna try and tie up here and uh, take care of it before we sink. This is fun. I don't know either. Just grab a railing, and if it seems solid enough to hold our weight. Well, the, the boat's filling with water, yeah. We've managed to tie up to this abandoned, broken thing. We seem to be in uh, deep water. The uh, bilge pump is working to empty out the water. So. Closing the engine through hull stopped the water coming in, but we still had to fix what was actually wrong. Yep. I'm gonna borrow this and yep. see what the issue is. Okay. Hmm. One of these hoses, I could just see water flooding everywhere. I gotta figure out which one it is. Can we open the other hatch? Yep. It's tough to breathe in there. There's the problem. Right there, that piece just came off. More engine trouble. Oh joy. So all we gotta do, loosen this, put it back on tight, and that will be great. Bill Trump has stopped already. The water's down. We're gonna be okay. I know. We're just losing time. We are. Back traveling again, hose is fixed, bilge pump has emptied out the bilge. We are cruising along quite happily on the Cooper River, knocking on wood. Uh, and it's gonna be a little tricky to get to our destination with the time delay, but I think we're still gonna do it. So we should be fine. We have never once regretted saying those words. <laughs> The next thing of note on our journey, apart from the odd porpoise, was this drawbridge. One side of it wouldn't go up, which means we had to split the narrow gap between catching our shrouds on the right hand side or catching the top of our mast on the left. It was a narrow gap, but we squeaked through and kept on heading south. 
we're in Georgia. You want to hear the craziest bit? Hit me with it. Less than 100 miles to St. Mary's. Wow. And we got to be careful because the devil is around here somewhere. <laughs> We are coming up on Hellgate. Yeah, that's a that's a channel we're going to go through. Hellgate. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, I got this. We got this. Do you see it? Because I don't. It must be pretty narrow. We're about to go through Hellgate. Oh. So that should be fun. I've got markers in sight. The channel is about two feet deep off to our right, and it's a narrow channel. Okay. So far, everything seems okay. I don't like how you say that. Well, so far. Okay, now watch your front. All righty. Real close to the shore. Yep, I am. But, yeah. All righty, but I'm in nine feet again, so I think the channel just goes really close to the shore. Apparently channel is about as wide as our boat. Well, the currents are interesting. Um, yeah, so far it's all right. I mean, for a Hellgate, it's not bad. Mm, that's just a stick. I think it's going to happen when we get out there. Yeah. Is that out to the ocean? I don't know. I just woke up. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and with no further drama, we made it to Kilkenny Marina in Ossabaw Sound, Georgia. 20 herons. The true love, she was beautiful. The true love, she was young. Her eyes were like the diamonds bright. Silvery was her tongue. short trip today because we need to stop early so that Robert can take their class with Michael Cohen and Nickelodeon. Kind of exciting. Alrighty, can you flick your hair out of your eyes? knots of wind against us and the tide against us we're doing about two knots we're gonna be in this for a while the bad news is is we have slowed down so much that it's going to take us an hour and a half to get out to the ocean current today right we're currently on this on this estuary okay. and um, so the bit that comes in and out to the ocean we're headed for it but we've slowed down so much, we're not going to get there until the tide changes. Which means when we get there, we should fly. And fly we did. Oh, I'll say no morning, the short hear the music play. Off on the morning train, won't be back again. I'm taking a trip on a couple of ships. Sailed away. The 
Robert just got yelled at for being out on the bowsprit, which is fine, uh, but then they weren't holding onto the railing, which is not fine. So they got in trouble, then had to go below. It's tough being 10 years old on a boat sometimes. But talking to family, even long distance, can make up for it. With the weather and wind and tide against us today, we are not going to make it to the marina we wanted to. So we are diverting to a place called Darien, and we may get there before dark, or we may get there after dark. It depends. It's going to be close either way, so this could be fun. Oh, and there's a great big bridge right after the marina in case we miss it. Well, we won't miss the bridge, it's only 31 feet high. <gasps> well, the sun's peeking out. Hopefully that's a good omen, but it's going to be tight. 2.4 miles to go, sunset is in 6 minutes. And of course it's cloudy, so we won't have a lot of light or moonlight. Pity it's a full moon. Well, we made it just, we parked in between two other boats. It's a little tight. I don't know how we're gonna get out in the morning. Uh, and boy, is there a storm going on, but we did it. Whew. episode we reach St. Mary's Georgia where we have to make some tough decisions about the boat. We don't even know if we're keeping the boat but I want to add some gold curly bits. It needs to be done. Sing ho for a brave and a gallant ship and a fair and a favoring breeze with a bully crew and a captain too to carry me over the seas. To carry me over the seas, my boys, where the dancing dolphins play, where the whales and the sharks are having their larks ten thousand miles away. My true love, she was beautiful, my true love, she was young. Her eyes were like the diamonds bright, silvery was her tongue. Silvery was her tongue, my boys, while the good ship sailed away. Adieu, she said, remember me ten thousand miles away. Sing, blow, me bully boys, blow.